So it's been a minute since I've looked at a Razer laptop. The last one I featured was a bit of a departure from their typical styling. When I saw it in that color, I was like, you know, creative people who want to stray away from, say, MacBooks and devices like that might start to look at this thing because it just had a more kind of creative professional look to it. That device had a crazy display on it, 240 hertz refresh rate which a creative professional would have absolutely no use for. Now I've got this other laptop in front of me and I'm hoping what I'm about to look at is actually the other version of the, the 15 inch advanced blade, but instead this time with an OLED display. You're not gonna get any crazy refresh rates, but you're gonna get OLED and you're gonna get 4K. Now we're talking about a totally different market. That's what's exciting about this one. I don't think I've ever looked at a laptop on this show with an OLED display, or if I did, it wasn't this big. A little cleaning cloth, some razor stickers are in there as well. A giant, powerful power brick with a braided cable, and this is the proprietary connector which delivers the power. You need a bunch of power, obviously, i9 and RTX 2080 graphics. You gotta feed it some juice. Crack this baby open. So we are back to the classic razor styling on this one. No fancy limited special color. Instead, it's the matte black. You still have the logo, which represents the culture to a certain degree, but the matte black finish, it's nice, it's simple. Power input, couple of typical USB-A ports. There is a headphone jack also included. On the other side of the device you have, I'm guessing that's Thunderbolt 3 in the form of USB Type-C connector. There's another USB-A a full-size HDMI port. That looks like a display port and there's a little locking area there as well. So let's crack this open real quick. Boom. And you know what? I know right away that it is the OLED panel because it's glossy. So if it's all about the visual experience, you might wanna put up with some reflections and go for this display option as well. Just keep in mind, 60 Hertz, 4K resolution. The layout here, you have the keyboard, giant track, Otis hair. Uh, this is what people are looking for by today's standards. The build quality here, it feels great. The whole thing is very sturdy. The screen, this always gets me. It doesn't actually go back very far. And maybe I'm just spoiled with all these ThinkPads I've been using, but it stops right around here. Now, I get it. At this type of setup, that's probably as far back as you're ever gonna need it. It's a tiny little nitpick. The keyboard, chiclet style, a little bit of travel to the keys. Now, I talked about this on the previous video that I did on a Razer laptop. They've improved this keyboard. This could be fine for me. I could I could type it out. Would, would it be as satisfying for me as a ThinkPad keyboard? Probably not. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, that is vibrant. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go back after this. Woo! They, they claim there's some technologies at play, some little, some little tricks in the background that make sure that burn-in does not occur. Uh, something called pixel shifting, Things move ever so slightly, you can barely see it, and and therefore protecting your pixels, protecting you from burning. But my goodness, if you know about the benefits of OLED on a smartphone and on a TV, just imagine that being brought to your laptop. I can't imagine wanting to sit in, in front of a better display than that. That is, that's a beautiful thing. You're also probably noticing at this point that the keyboard is backlit, it's RGB, you can see it cycling through the colors. That's kind of the Razer default. You see this is the, 3840 by 2160 native resolution. It's got a 200% scale on it. it. The thing is with LCD panels, right? The lighting is never really turned off. So you, your blacks end up this gray thing and then you end up with these the various dimming technologies that attempt to, to change that. I have an LCD left over in my house. It drives me crazy when it's got the local dimming. I can pick it up with my eyes and it's just compared to an OLED panel, it's night and day. Why not an unbox therapy video? That's a little bit dark, it's a little bit light. And most importantly, we published to YouTube in 4K, so we can actually watch it in the native res here. This is what you are working with. One thing that you're going to notice is the black levels. My shirt is like pitch black relative to the rest of the frame. The black shirt is very black, and that's what I'm looking for. And also, yeah, I mean, just the quality of it. It's, uh, it's a beautiful display. Jack just interrupted the entire video right now. He wants, he wants you all to know that you have to go out and buy a $3,000 computer to properly watch Unbox Therapy videos because he wants it to look like this. I mean, it looks great. It looks cinematic. The detail in my hand tones over here is like, I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's like typically a lot of this stuff ends up blown out on some displays. See the shadows and stuff in my hands? I mean, I, what am I doing? I don't have to sell you OLED at this point. Everyone knows the industry is going that way in some way or another. 
there are drawbacks. I told you about it earlier. It's just a 60 hertz panel. If you're heavy on the gaming side, you're probably gonna avoid this. You're probably not gonna run games in this resolution anyways. So you already know you're gonna pick the 240 hertz option. But I think this particular model is interesting because it reaches out to that other segment of the audience that I mentioned earlier. People who are looking for you know, a well-designed, solid, well-presented package from a workstation perspective on the Windows side. There's not actually that many options that are able to deliver this kind of power, these type of specs, and so forth to compete with the MacBook Pro. The last thing you want when you're setting it up is to be fearful of potentially interacting with it wrong and catastrophe strike. So I think, I think that the speakers are a bit of a letdown relative to the monitor. You're looking at the monitor, you're like, whoa. And then the speakers are like, that's those are laptop speakers. It's not fooling you by any means, particularly for this dialogue in this video here. Leave the device unfolded when I mean, charging. they work, but that's max volume right there. It's just not that impressive for dialogue. I mean, you're gonna watch video on here. You're gonna play games on here. Maybe you're gonna use the speakers from time to time. It's gonna be a headset laptop to get any kind of punch out of it. It seems that way at the moment. Okay, so here's the way it breaks down with this particular laptop. It starts out as a standard Razer Blade 15 uh, i7 8th generation and a full HD display at 60 Hertz. That's sort of your entry point uh, you, to, to get you started at the lowest price point. This one here, obviously cooking a little hotter than that from a spec perspective. So when you go through the configuration, I'll give you a sense of how to how the price goes up as you change things around. So first being the graphics card, you can see you're starting around $1,600 US. You scale up to the RTX 2080, let's say. Now you're at 2,800 bucks. Of course, the full HD 144 Hertz gonna be perfect for a lot of people, particularly gamers. That's fine. You could stay in that department even if you wanted the top graphics. 240 Hertz takes it to another level if you're so, uh, if you're so inclined. But then the one I have here is the OLED 4K Touch. That's right, it's a touch screen as well. I, I think I told you that earlier, but I didn't show it off. So that's the one we're gonna select. And you can see now the price jumps again, we're at 3,300 US. It's not a cheap laptop. It's important to note that for these perks, you're gonna pay for it. But I have to say, you take a look at this thing and you realize it's a different experience straight away. That could be your future laptop display, just like the beauty of OLED phones and OLED TVs, that tech has finally made its way into mainstream laptops. Otis, you wanna be in the vid, bud? Down, relax. This episode is sponsored by Cove. They have this new super portable uh, speaker here, <clears throat> Bluetooth speaker, called the Commuter. The battery is 4,000 milliamps, so it lasts uh, quite a long time. It's got water resistance, so if you're at the pool or something and you get it wet, it won't get damaged. We have this NFC feature, which offers fast pairing. Oh, there you go. So there's a DSP chip here, which offers an automatic equalizer so you can get optimized experiences, whether you're indoors or outdoors. Right now, you can get 40% off this speaker with the promo code. Check the link down below.